y'all. Welcome to the August planner lineup. I know that last month I did not get to filming a planner lineup. Um, I did film a monthly for July, but the footage was corrupted and it wouldn't upload for some reason. And so I had to scrap the video. We're honestly just lucky that I got July's plan with me up and running and that we are starting on August. I am really excited about these kits for this month. Um, we're kind of transitioning into busy season of life and I'm ready for cold weather and I'm kind of tired of all the summer kits and the beach themed kits. So I have exciting things planned. I've done a little bit of shopping that I'm excited to share with you guys later on, but we're going to get into this. All right, for the monthly, we went with Scribble Prince Co.'s um, Book Nerd Kit. It is the Undated. It is absolutely beautiful. That dog is precious. I really like the colors in this. They're very neutral. That's what I wanted. And then we're going to go with the gold um, August lettering. I just thought that would be really pretty. And this is from Meg B. Plans. That one was the easy one. <laughs> All right, y'all. Fair warning. There is a lot of Planner Pixie Co. in this month's uh, lineup, and that is because I couldn't help myself. Okay, y'all, for the first week of July, oh, for the first week of July, for the first week of August, and this is going to be July 31st through August 6th, this is Planner Pixie Co. Sweet Treats Kit. I looked at this kit for the longest time since so she put it up, and I just kind of was back and forth, back and forth, and I finally broke down and got it. I think it is so sweet. So I'm excited to get some very, look at that deco. That is just this art is phenomenal. And then I did go ahead and pick up this washi sheet. I did not, um, I was not a fan of these two together, but I thought it would go either really well with that one or it'd really go nice with that one. Especially since, um, especially since the wash, uh, the, the foil I got to go with it is kind of busy. I think I'm going to go with the pink on pink, but I might go the pink on blue. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. And then I did get this add-on. I am so excited to use this tall box. And to go with the kit, I got the Planner Pixie Co's Sprinkles, is what I think she calls this, in the Lavender Hollow. And is that just not the most beautiful foil you have ever seen? I'm so excited. I got that and then the tall box. Of course, we got the bougie boxes, overlays. I guess it came. I'm so dumb. I don't know why I added that to my cart. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I'll have to go look. This may have just been accidentally put in here. I don't know. Anyway, well, it comes with one, so I don't need it. But <laughs> there you go. I did get the quote boxes. I just thought the quote boxes were super cute. Like, you're the sprinkles to my cupcake, and life is better with <laughs> sprinkles. It's it's adorable. So, that is what we are doing for the first week. Of, this is a five-week month, I believe, for the planner. Yeah, it is five weeks. So, okay, y'all. The next week is the week of August 7th through 13th through the 13th, and this was obviously the first week back to school for two of the kiddos in my house. This art was used a lot, and I think I really, because I was already ordering from her, I just added it to the order. But this is the Scholar Society. It is also Planner Pixie Co. I just thought this was fun. Um, I really liked, it just reminds me of the pink locker. I remember why I got this one because the pink locker. I think a lot of people had like the, uh, like the green one and then there was like a yellow and a white one, but I really like the pink locker. Pink is my favorite color. So I tend to usually move towards pink if I can. I know it's not exactly these like fall vibes, but I really, I like having a back to school kit to mark the week. And then I also got this blue washi to go with it, and I got this because this looks like me, especially now that I have cut my hair short, and this looks like Dylan. So I'm really, I'm excited about this one. And then and the foil kit is one I picked up from Planna Hannah. I believe that this one is just a confetti bundle, and hers is in the ice. I thought that looked really, I thought that just really complemented all of that very well, and it complemented the freebie box that came with this kit. So that is that. And then this was the freebie that came with the kit from Planner Pixie Co. And uh, Dylan is going into the 8th grade, so I thought it was appropriate. But you can see why I chose to get... They match. And I almost... I think they're the same foil. Just different names, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, they work. I like it. So that is that for that week. We are moving right along to the next week, which is August 14th through the 20th. When I saw this next kit, I thought of my sweet little leg and bacon... There's just certain things that remind me of her, and there's certain things that remind me of my grandmother, and sometimes I just have to, um, I have to get the kits that really kind of remind me of them. 
Um, it's almost like having a piece of them here with me again. So this one is the Caress Press Wildflower Kit. I always associate like when Lakin wore a lot of florals. She looked really pretty in blues and yellows. And I associate her with daisies, just like I associate my late grandmother with daisies. So this kit, when I saw it, I just immediately thought of both of them. And of course it had the little fox and I am obsessed with foxes. So obviously, you know, I feel like this art was just, I feel like this kit was just made for me. Um, but those are the full boxes. I am going to split this one in half. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional with this kit for some reason. Yeah, I'll probably use every single one of these. I just loved the colors. I, it was not super crazy. It's very springy, but... <sighs> okay. I'm not going to do this in this video. <laughs> I did get the full box. And I did get this. The extra boxes. Um, I love this box right here. It's so sweet. And then I could not decide when I saw this kit. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the, um, I, I really love that. But I love this too. So I don't know if using both of these together is too much. Or should I go pink and the green or pink and the stone? The stone is like the wall of the house. And I almost feel like I love this. And not using that green at all. What do we think, guys? Do we like that? I think this is where I'm leaning to. I may decide to do the pink and the green. But I think I'm really leaning to this combo. Maybe. Maybe. We shall see. We shall see. Okay. And then to go with it, I got the um, butterfly kit from Caress Press. And this is in the, um, let's see lilac this is in the lilac i think it only comes in lilac but i thought it just went really well with some of the color tones in here and like i said purple lakin had um cornelia delaney syndrome and purple was the color for that and i i just think it it just fits so well can you imagine oh um i'm done like that is beautiful and then the washi and then you guys know all the rest of them. They don't change very often. But that is the week of August 14th through the 20th. The next one is for the week of August 21st through the 27th. This is Long Live Country Girls and it is Planner Pixie Co. Again, she's been killing it with the kits. I had to have this minute I saw it. A lot of these kits this month, just really, I just fell in love with them the second I saw them. And I automatically knew which foil color I was going to put with it. So, I'm excited about that too. But, this is the full boxes look at that very nashville i don't think i'm crazy about this pink one but i love the turquoise the problem is, is i can't decide if there's just too many blues oh, i don't know i'm gonna use all of these like for sure probably gravitate more towards these than the plain ones that's so cute i'm excited oh look at those they're just beautiful I love them. And then I got this because I wasn't sure. I did get the full box because Lasha Girl. If there's fashion girls, I always like to get at least one that kind of looks like me or kind of looks like somebody that's representing in the kit. So like my kids or my husband or something. But I like that she's a big girl. <laughs> because your girl is a big girl. But I did get... I got the cow print. I wasn't sure if it would be too much because the, the days... The date headers are um, cow print as well, but I actually think I like it better. I'm really excited to see how other people use these kits. Like I said, she's been killing the uh, kit game this week. To go with that one, we went with the kit that came with it, but I got it in Merlot. And I love that I did that. It's beautiful. It complements it very well without being just too much. Um, I... I know a lot of people are probably going to go very silver, blue, pinks. So I just thought the Merlot was very, very, um, calming. The weekend. And then I did get the quote boxes in Merlot. Love that. And then I did get the, um, tall box. And this came with it. I think it was a freebie. Did I get the, um, I didn't. I'm not exactly sure why that's here. Um, this was, I don't remember ordering this, so I think it just got thrown in my stack, but that's okay. It's kind of cute. I did get the tall box 
in um I can't remember what this what this foil's called, but I did make sure it was a little bit different than the Merlot. I kind of wanted it to stand out on the um, sidebar. So I think that'll look really cute. I know it's hard to tell. But anyway, that is it for the week of the 21st to the 27th. And then we are going to move into the week of August 28th through September 3rd. This is Caress Press's um, pumpkin kit and another fox. Y'all know if it has a fox in it, I'm probably not going to pass it up. It just kind of depends. I did see another kid out there that have a fox, but it's like very cartoony. I don't know. But I loved, I love this. This just takes me into September very seamlessly. I would have a fall decorated house all year long if I could. In October, we start decorating for Christmas. If that tells you how much I love September through, I would say about March, April. Those are my favorite seasons. I don't necessarily love winter. I'm not a snow girl. Don't get it twisted. But because I live in the South, like, the coolest temperatures we get are those last few months and the first few months of the year. So, I just love it. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Um, but those are the full boxes. This is, look at that. That is just cute. Some more. I probably will not use that one. Oh, did I pass by one? Did I, did y'all see that? I don't know. Anyway, there were the glitter headers. And then, these were the extra boxes. I really like that, and I'm thinking, uh, I don't know where I would put it, though, but I really, I love this. I can't, I can't decide which one I like more. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I love everything and all of the kits for this. This was um, the washi I got. It's very stone, like, it's, it's, it looks like a stone wall. Again, I like that. And then this came with it. This was the freebie that came with the kit. I don't know. I like Thick Thighs Fall Vibes. They don't really put plain coffee or black coffee on these stickers. And then to go with it, I pulled the maple foil bundle from Press Press. Uh, this was the freebie that came with it. These are the overlays, the tall box, and the headers, the washi strips, and then the bougie boxes. And that's it for that one. I mean, well, that is going to take us out of September. Excuse me. That is going to take me out of August and into September so beautifully all right guys i guess that's it for the august lineup let me know in the comment section if any of us are twinning um for the month of august and also if you are interested in checking out any of these shops they will be listed in the description box below and we will see you next week with the first plan with me